guys, Ken from Veteran Screen Printing. Today we're going to show you how we clean our screen once we're done with the job. So today um, we're cleaning a yellow gold or golden yellow off the screen. And how we start with is one, we wear gloves, two, we have our apron. And then with our pellet, I put a trash bag over it so none of the paint gets on the, um, the pellet tape and I have to replace it. So put a trash bag over it and bring it down. And what we do uh, typically is we will take a spatula and I got these at Walmart for two bucks. So you don't gotta spend a lot of money on these. Uh, you can go online and buy them at the screen printing shop for, you know, $15 and, or $10 and they do the same thing. So let's get our, our gold yellow. And normally what I do is I will, um, usually just set it up on top of my press and we just go through and you're just scraping all the paint off the more paint you can scrape off the easier it is is it going to be to clean it so get off everything you could possibly get off Makes your job a lot easier once you're done doing this, just you know, to wash it down with. Now, if you're gonna reuse this screen, um, you don't want to wash it all the way down. So what we use is we use textile wash for plastic saw inks, and we're just going through, scraping every little bit off that we can get. Because all this can be reused again on the next job. So make sure you get off everything, your squeegee. Everything. When I'm done with that, I put the squeegee up to the top. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying to get all this off. that I got everything pretty much off. Go through it one more time. Like I said, it makes your job easier. Um, for the, the more ink you get off, the better it is. Take that, set it back on the shelf. Rags, get some rags. I'm just gonna wipe this down. And now you notice I haven't used any textile wash yet. <clears throat> you don't need to use it right from the get go. You know, save your, 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 uh, save your chemicals. A lot of people don't, you know, um, charge for a setup fee or, you know, anything along those lines. But, you know, you got to think about it. This is going to take me, what, five minutes, ten minutes at the most to do. But, you know, that's still somebody doing this all this cleaning up. So you want to make sure that you account for it um, when you're quoting your customers because it is time consuming. You know, if I have, say this is a, you know, a three color job, you know, that's easily a 30 minutes, um, depending. You know, like I said, it normally takes about five, 10 minutes at most, depending on if you left your screen, you know, sitting too long with the ink in there. Some people are lazy and uh, actually don't clean their screens up right away. Don't hurt the ink or anything along those lines, but 
it does make it a little bit more difficult when you're done to clean it up. So always clean up your screens as soon as you're done with the job. Make sure you don't got anything on your handles. Just make sure your, you know, your squeegees are good to go so when you pick it up next time, you don't get ink all over yourself. So a little bit of textile wash. So spray it out a little bit. And usually what I use is I use a rag to wipe away any big clunks of, you know, ink that I couldn't get off or I didn't get off. I just go around making sure that I got, you know, I get try to get most of the, the big things of ink that I didn't get off or I, I wouldn't come off. I'm just agitating this, the, 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 the ink it's right now. You know, just scrubbing away a little bit. And it's just pretty much agitating the ink and warming it up. Spray it off a little bit more. I'm almost out of chemical, but I have some more. And what I like to do next is just a rag that we printed on or a test run or, you know, just one of these laying around, 100% cotton cleans up screens very, very well. As you see, it cleaned up really quick. Really no, nothing left on there. Just toss it away when you, once you're done. And our next step that I do is take off all the tape. Take all the tape off. Now I'm going to be reusing the screen, so I'm not going to reclaim it all the way. You can reclaim screens so you can use it again. But this customer in particular orders every so often, every, every month at least. And, um, so I keep their uh, their screens on hand so when they order it's real easy for me real easy for me to just take it off the the rack and and uh, line up the colors and and start printing all right so got all the tape for the most part off Probably still see some of this um, on the edges right here. There's some uh, chemical or uh, some ink left over. Um, like I said, I'm reusing this uh, screen, so I don't want to reclaim it. But I take a little bit of screen opener and I scrub off that paint. that might have got under the tape. Right. Do a nice little spray. And this just cleans it a little bit more. The screen opener does. Same type of uh, chemical you use if you get a clog in your screen when you're printing. So, you know, it's a track bag, so I just wipe it down. And then I got my registration marks taped off as well. like using um, painter's tape. I ran out of uh, blackout tape one time and um, of course it was the weekend so none of the print shops locally were uh, open and uh, I had some uh, painter's tape so I used it and it worked perfectly. 
No residue, anything. Spray the backside with a little bit of screen opener. Wipe that down. Put it back in on the pellet. Spray it down one more time. And this time I'm just going over it just a little bit. And that's it. So that's how we uh, we clean our screens here. Um, makes it real easy for us. And um, before I put this on the shelf, what I actually do is I take it to the washout booth and I actually um, put haze remover on it, scrub it in there for a couple minutes, and then I wash it out and then, of course, uh, degrease it. Um, and what that does is the degreaser and, uh, you know, make sure it's not oily. So when you go put your tape on there again, it will actually stick. But the haze remover, um, it actually cleans out the screen pretty well. So if you can see, it has a little bit of a tint of a yellow still or gold. And uh, so what we'll do is we'll do a little bit of haze remover and let it sit for a minute, scrub it in and um, wash it out. As soon as we wash it out, it's pretty much like we just burned it and brand new again. So we'll put it back on the shelf. Um, now, if you were going to reclaim it, you first, you know, put your reclaiming chemical on there wash it out all your emotion would come out of it you can uh, do haze remover if you left the the screen too long with ink in it you do haze remover so none of the images are ghosted in there any longer um, and then of course you do your um, your degreaser and put it back on your shelf um, so if you guys have any questions leave comments um, make sure you smash that thumbs up subscribe to us hit the bell for notifications. We're gonna be, like I said, we're going to be uh, dropping videos um, once a week, maybe twice a week, depending on how busy we are. Right now we, we have about three orders on deck and two, well, three bigger ones pending. So um, never know, we'll be uh, hopefully doing videos once or twice a week. So again, thanks for watching and uh, we're out.